British Columbia, out of all the organizations that I've worked with, has had a higher level of injury rates. So I wanted to see an improvement. And I know that you can't do it alone. You need support of other businesses. You need the support of WorkCPC, and you need an association that's going to help drive that with you in your organization. So I was really pleased when Fiosa Miosa approached me and asked me to join the board. We do care about the decrease in workplace injuries. Um, we all want to see that. WorkSafe BC wants to see that. Business leaders want to see that. Nobody wants people to injure themselves at work. Fiosa Miosa is driving change through a number of programs that they have. Certainly the OC program that enable those organizations to develop a strong safety culture. To have that technical expertise in your organization is very difficult. Fiosa Miosa is going to bring that to our members. The drive that Lisa has to make this organization the premier safety association in British Columbia is unfounded. What's really surprised us is the significant outcome that we've been able to, to, to see in terms of the results. The members that we serve have seen an overall decrease in their premiums by over 7%. This compares to the rest of manufacturing who aren't our members that has seen an overall increase uh, of over a percent. Uh, when we look at 2015, it's about expanding our engagement. We engage our members, we, we come out to their workplace in a face-to-face -face visit, see where they are in relation to a good standard, then we work with them along the way and provide them with tools and resources and support to educate them. We had um, engaged with WorkSafe BC to ask serve a larger demographic. We currently serve 2,000. We asked to widen or expand our membership by an additional amount to be able to help more because we've seen a reduction in premiums, which were a reduction in the number of injuries. We wanted to serve more. We launched our online learning portal at the end of April in 2015 with a number of courses to help support their needs and to increase their education in health and safety. One of the most significant additions that we included in 2015 was specialized task ergonomic needs assessment, which we help our members understand and identify risks associated with ergonomics and be able to manage and control them. We try to reach as many of our members as possible. We craft newsletters, we host events, such as the, the Make It Safe event, which is a manufacturing-focused event for health and safety professionals and supervisors and leaders. Moving into 2016, we have been able to source talent to be able to support our members. We are working towards world class to get the right people on the bus to deliver the highest quality to our members. We've got leaders within our organization to drive the strategies that we've put forward. Finance expertise to be able to ensure we're financial programs in place. We have a human resource expertise on board to ensure we get the right talent and that we have a strong culture as an organization because we want to be leaders in the culture that we're driving and we want to make sure we're an example of that. We've hired a combustible dust safety advisor, a confined space safety advisor, hygiene. We go to the, our members and we give them the free scope. Accidents, I'd always assumed, were random events, uh, uncontrollable events. They're going to happen, uh, and there's not much you can do about it. And when I started with Shay, it was immediate relief in that I had someone who had the expertise to kind of guide me in the right direction, because there's so much involved with health and safety that without the right advice, you're going to miss something for sure. With Fiosa Miosa, they showed me the kind of research that's got into how human behavior is involved and how there's a root cause to every incident where they bring companies, a whole bunch of different companies together. They have an expert on a topic and they go over it and you can, uh, you can speak to them directly afterwards. You can set up an audit. So, I mean, there's just a ton of resources available. Seeing that moment where someone the light goes on and they go, I get it now. I'm not going to do that anymore. I understand taking that extra step. Just like, I want to go home safe to my family, they need to go home safe to theirs. At corporate level, we, we also look at um, safety as a competitive advantage, uh, really looking at our responsibility, social responsibility, and, and having safety part of that. 
Any company's biggest asset is going to be the staff that work for them. Uh, so truly uh, believing that safety is an important part of their work life. Safety management systems, they're confusing when you look at the whole system itself. Uh, what they did is they came in and they said, listen, here's your safety management system. Uh, this is where you're doing well, uh, but unfortunately this is where you're not doing so well. So areas for opportunity. What that did is it allowed us to focus on where we needed to focus. They were the ones that led us through the process. They were also the ones that highlighted uh, areas that we needed to work on so that we could ultimately pass this certification. I would recommend Fiosa Miosa for other companies. Our aspiration is to be world class, and to do that, we need to be able to deliver the highest quality in everything that we do. Education, training programs, advisory services, the resources that we develop. It's important to Pianos and Mosa. It's important to me as a CEO to do all that we can to help our members work towards our vision in protecting the people that they employ within British Columbia.